What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're not going to be talking about a vehicle, but a part that is in a vehicle, our power strokes. We're going to talk about what this is and what it does. Alright guys, let's do this. All right guys, thanks so much for coming back. Tonight is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and it is the glow plug. What is a glow plug? What does it do? Do we need to replace these like our spark plugs? I've had a couple of guys over the course of uh, the YouTube experience ask, you know, oh, what's the recommended interval to replace your glow plugs? Well, I guess that's up to interpretation. There's a placebo effect when you do anything, and if you want to replace these, you can. It's not necessary, but due to the sophistication of our electronics, specifically in the glow plug system, we are going to get a check engine light when the PCM does not like the resistance that it measures over the glow plug circuit. So not necessarily are you going to replace this only if it doesn't work or when your testing fails. But one of the things that's kind of curious, I guess to some, is this is a glow plug. This is not a spark plug. This does not ignite the air fuel charge. This glows and heats up the air in the cylinder to create the temperatures needed to combust the fuel and the air mixture, assuming the vehicle has adequate compression. Okay, it's a glow plug. Glow plug? Why do they call it a glow plug? Well, that, my friends, is what we're going to find out. I'm going to show you guys really how this glows in your cylinder. I have a vise here. I'm going to use this vise as my glow plug jig and I'm going to show you guys exactly what this looks like when you go and turn your key and wait to start. Here's the glow plug. Here is my glow plug jig. We're going to use this vise to demonstrate to you guys what exactly the glow plug is doing. I know the name kind of sounds funny glow plug, spark plug, people think that they do the same thing. They don't. They do go into the cylinder, however, on both diesel and gas applications. So currently right now, the engine's off. The glow plug's sitting here doing jack diddly. We're at about 63 degrees. This is the part, not this whole part. I would say probably about this part up from my screwdriver up is about the the amount that sticks into the cylinder that's what's going to be glowing so i'm going to go and do right at the tip what do we got 61 degrees okay so we have a totally cold glow plug and so if i'm going to check the resistance of this cold glow plug let's see what's going to read this part is separate from this part this is grounded this is our power power ground we'll be reading spec is under two ohms that glow plug is within spec if that was over two ohms that would be the only grounds to go ahead and replace that particular glow plug so now with all of our stats talked about, our temperature and our resistance, I'm going to use the vise as our ground. Our vise is grounded. This is our cylinder block. The cylinder block grounds the glow plugs because it screws into here. I'm sorry, not the cylinder block. It screws into the cylinder head, but the cylinder head is attached to the cylinder block, which is thus grounded. So I'm using this as my cylinder block. Here is our power feed our 12 apple 690s we're going to put those right on our glow plug that clips on and provides power to each glow plug all eight simultaneously so right now i'm going to turn my jump pack on 
and I'm gonna put it into boost mode. And friends, Power Stroke family, this is why it is called a glow plug. Check it out. That is what's happening inside your combustion chamber. Look at that. Look how bright it is. I'm gonna shut it off and you guys can see how fast it's gonna co cool down. Check it out. You don't typically see this because it's inside your engine, but to actually see it in person on the bench out of the truck, right now, we're gonna turn the key on. We're gonna wait to start. There's a reason why we have to wait to start, everybody. The glow plugs have to heat up. Additionally, it's going to take time for all of that heat to transfer to the cylinder air and the components inside. And then, and only then, does the glow plug shut off. The glow plugs only come on if engine oil temperature is not adequate enough. Each truck has its different range. But if you guys pull up to a store or someplace where you need to get out and have already driven the vehicle, the glow plugs are not even gonna come on. If engine oil temp is above the threshold, the glow plugs do not come on. So in theory, there should be no reason why you are waiting to start. Waiting to start and energizing these glow plugs as you're seeing right now is only for cold weather starting or in other people's cases, first time engine starting if the vehicle's been sitting you know, for over eight hours. So one of the things I wanna check now that we are still superheated We've been cycling this a few times, just checking it out. Okay, so we're gonna measure this temp. Let's see how hot this thing's getting right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick it up. 266, 155, 200, 304, max reading 304. Gonna head shut this off. And now that it's still hot, let's check the resistance reading and see how hot it, what the resistance is when the glow plug is still hot. Negative 61, negative 55 ohms of resistance. And look how it's creeping down. The glow plug is, is cooled down. Still going down. So here it is still going down. The glow plug is, is, is not glowing anymore. Okay, so we're checking resistance and I'm gonna check temperature at the same time. So what do we got here? Where, where's my laser pointer here? Why can't I get this on here? That was way low. Okay, I got 168, 95, Definitely going down. Let's check our resistance reading again. We're at negative 16. So we can definitely deduce and verify, because we know this is a fact, that temperature is gonna change resistance. And it in fact is doing that right now. And I don't know if, if, if this would be a correct model to show you and use these values um, as verbatim but we've been cycling this thing a bunch of times looking at it and you can see the little discoloration here I can't say that this is going to happen in your truck this is probably self-induced uh, just from us testing and, and showing actually how the glow plug is working now imagine all eight of those working and it's zero degrees outside. You guys can imagine the amount of heat that is gonna be generated inside the engine. Let me know in the comment section if anybody's ever had to replace their glow plugs on their 7.3s or their six liters. I'll make sure to put a link in the description for all my glow plug diagnostic videos. Um, it's got good information on what circuits to check and how to check them uh, if the vehicle is hot or cold. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share. I'll catch you guys all. Next time.